Good day. Welcome to another session. I am Ali Meridu Anabiodo, the instructor for this session. And in today's lessons, we shall be treating factorization. So here is the content. Ranging of factorization, as common factor, factorization using common, common factor, and difference of two squares. So we shall be starting with factorization. So what is factorization? So um, basically, when we're talking about factorization, factorization enables us to learn mathematics and solve problems, which occur in science, business, computer engineering, and programming. So factorization basically means that you want to break in and of problems to the barest minimum, to the barest minimum. That's what factorization entails. For example, 12. The product of 12 is 3, and one of the, one of the ways by which we can go to 12 is the product of 3 and 4 will give us 12, right? So 3 and 4 are called the factor, all you are called the factor, all the divisors of 12. You understand? So again, 2 multiplied by 6 also equals 12. So 2 and 6 are also called factors or divisors of 12. So the process of writing, uh, writing number 12 into the product of 3 and 4 or 2 and 6 is 10. So let's check this example here. We have 48. 6 multiplied by 8 will give us 48, right? So we can still break this 6 and 8 down, right? So 6, we can, 2 multiplied by 3 will give us 6, right? So we must write 2 multiplied by 3 give us 6. 8, 4 times 2 will give us 8. 4, we can still break down this 4. We can still break down this 4. So 2 times 2 will give us 4. So that, that's why we have 2 times 3 times 2 times 2 times 2. So this is the barest minimum. We breaking down this problem to the barest minimum. That's what factorization is all about. This is what we call prime factorization. I hope you understand. Okay. If you understand that, then you need to have a recap of what we call as common factor HCF. I'm sure we've done something basically on HCF in our primary school days. HCF of two numbers or expression is the largest number or expression, which is a factor of both. Okay. What we say is HCF, that is the highest common factor. So for example, we are here we are having 24 and 40. The factors of 24 and 40, that is how we can get to 24 and 40. For 24, we have 12, 2 times 12 will give us 24. 4 times 6 will give us 24. 8 times 3 will give us breaking it down, just like we did the other time. 2 times 2 times 2 times 3 will give us what? 24. Um, for 40 also. 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 5 will give us 40. So now the highest common factor is the product of the common prime factor. Again, so the highest common factor is the product of the common prime factor. I, I hope we can still remember prime number. Prime number has two factors, one and, and itself. So the product of the um, uh, the product of the common prime factors will give us the HCL. So here, the product of the um, common factors here is two multiplied by two multiplied by two. As you can see, two 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 occurs here most. So the common one in both two 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 here. So the uh, the highest common factor will be two times two times two, which is eight. So which means that for 24 and 40, the highest common factor is what? Is G. Is G. I hope you understand. Okay, with this, I hope you can have a recap of the basic concept of HCF. Okay, if we understand that, then how can we factorize this in common factor? Of course, we can factorize this in common factor. Let's check this. We know that A plus C, opening this bracket, A must lie by B will give us AB. A must lie by C will give us what? AC. Right, we can also have a reverse process. We are having AB, we are having AC here. A and A are common to both AB and AC. So we factorize how taking out the common factor, which is A. So we have A into brother C bar. I hope you understand that. Okay, let's consider this example 7 hex plus 7 times 7 hex plus 35. 7 hex is the same as 7 times x. 35, we can have 35 break 35 down into 5 multiplied by 7, right? So seven is common on on the either side of the uh, of the of the expression of the expression. So seven is common here. Seven is common here. So factorize how to the seven. So that's why we have seven in the bracket x plus five. I hope you understand. Okay, let's consider some examples for better appreciation. Okay, you factorize the question says you factorize the following. We factorize the following. 
هنا A علامة B let's take D and E D 12 into bracket uh, 12 x square y minus 8 x y square okay the first thing we have to we have to um, look for is the common factor this is the common factor so we now take out the highest common factor how can we get to this factor how can we get to the its behavior in order for us to be able to factorize this particular expression we are given here so we have to look for the hcf of 12 and 8. so the hcf of 12 and 8 is what it is for right okay xy is here xy is here so we have so which means that 4xy will be the hcf that's why we have the hcf to be 4xy here so in order for us to be able to factorize this just divide this expression by 4xy so so dividing this expression by 4xy that will be 12 x square y over 4xy uh, 12 divided by y 12 divided by 4 will give us 3 right so x squared divided by x will give us x that's why we have 3 x and y will come to y out minus 8 divided by 4 8 divided by 4 will give us 2 x divided by has x will cancel out y squared divided by y will give us y that's why that's how why we have that's how why we have uh 4 x y into bracket 3 x minus 2 y and now for the last question minus 6 x minus 12 y plus 15 z so here we have to look for the common factor too we have to run from, from the factors the, the common factors of 6 12 and 15 approximately then we look for the minus 3 so dividing through dividing this expression by the hcf so minus 6 x divided by 3 that will give us um uh, factorizing minus 3 out here so we factorize the minus 3 out here so minus 3 minus multiply by um so we have a minus here um, divided by minus here we we'll we'll cancel out that's why we're having 2x so minus 6x divided by minus 3 so minus will cancel minus 6 divided by 3 that will be 2x do you understand okay so minus 12y divided by minus 3 so minus will cancel minus 12 divided by 3 that will be by 3 that will be 4 why okay you understand so 15 z divided by minus 3 so it will be minus plus divided by minus that will be negative that will be minus 15 divided by 3 that will give us 5 that's why we have minus 5 z i hope you understand okay we can still factorize concept of difference of two squares okay using the difference of two squares we can still factorize but how do we know we have to use the difference of two squares in a, in a particular question the first thing we have to understand is that both terms must be perfect squares and have a minus between them. What are we saying here? Consider this, this example we have in here. What is the perfect square? Perfect square is you having a number. After taking the square root to give you a whole number. For example, 4. So square root of 4, after taking the square root of 4 to give us, give us so 2 multiplied by 2 will give us 4. So which means 4 is a perfect square. 3 multiplied by 3 will give us 9. So which means 9 is a perfect square. 16 is a perfect square. 4 times 12 will give us 16. 16 is a perfect square. 25. 5 times 5 equals to um, 25. So which means 25 is a perfect square. I hope you understand the concept of perfect square now. Okay? So here we're having x squared minus 16. So before we can, uh, we can, uh, we can choose to use the concept of difference of difference of two squares, then we have to look at the question critically and and to see whether we can actually accept or not. So here we can use the concepts because 16 is a perfect square. So 16 can be also be written as 4 squared, that is 4 times 4. 4 multiplied by 4 give us 16. So why we have x squared minus 4 squared. I think we can, as we can see here, since we have this, here's the concept of, um, we can use the concept of difference of two squares, then it will be x or plus, then have negative of the other side i hope you understand okay for better appreciation let's let's solve some more examples um we should not have any problem with that b we should not have any problem with that um let's take let's do that um let's take let's do c and d explain c and d okay so c x squared minus three minus 36 y squared so x squared minus 36 y squared 36 is a perfect square right so 6 times 6 will give us 36 right square 
right so we can also write this as c square y square now going back to the law of indices so six when the when the powers are the same we multiply the three so that's why six is why everything in the bracket uh, everything raised to the power two so that's why we have six y square here how do you understand and that's why we have x squared into bracket six y everything square then you split then six x plus six y x minus six y as we're using the concept of difference of two square here too x minus two square minus 49 49 is a perfect square seven times seven will give us 49 right so we can still write this as x minus two everything square we can still write this as x minus two everything square minus seven minus seven square so we just with this then we know we can use the concept of difference of two square we had then we subtract so that will be x minus two plus seven into bracket x minus two minus seven then we had uh we do the normal arithmetic that's why we have x um, and x minus nine i hope you understand now okay in summary we made ourselves to understand that factorization consists of uh, writing a number or another mathematical object as a product of several factors using smaller or simpler objects of the same kind we break the particular question down to the barest minimum and we know we made ourselves to understand that we have, we can use the concept of HTF to factorize and we can use the concept of difference of two squares to also factorize and i hope you understand so in, when we are factorizing we factorize an algebraic expression place in the front of the bracket just like we did in the previous example then the expression inside the bracket is obtained by dividing each term by the HTF, just like we uh, demonstrated when we are solving the examples so here are the exercises I have for you. So you try to solve the exercises and here are the answer, answers to the exercises. So make sure you try the, ex the exercises, exercises and uh, if you're not having any problem regarding the exercise, you can always contact us through this mail. And I hope you've learned one of the things in, this, in today's lesson. Thanks so much for your time. Thank you.